Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do a, um, a few experiments with the Martha Stewart Crafts Total, uh, the Soft Gel Watercolor Acrylic Craft Paint, and the Gel Plate. Uh, jelly plate. Now, this was requested so many times to know whether uh, this paint works on here. Um, now, these paints are wonderful. People are on the fence about them, um, but you can use a little bit and water it down a lot to get a beautiful watercolor effect. You can use them straight out of the bottle. So they are kind of multi-purpose. And since I love, you know, seeing how far we can push products, um, y'all were asking, hey, what can we do with them? So let's get to starting. All I have is my jelly plate here. Now there are a million recipes to make your own jelly plate. I've used my um, nonstick mat. I've used wax paper, parchment paper. I've used a million different things to get monoprints, but right now I'm using the gel plate. And I'm gonna grab my roly poly and let's get started. So I just have a few stencils here and stamps just to kind of see what we got going on. And I'm going to take this color and I'm probably at first going to start just straight out the bottle. This is Mardi Gras beads. That's the color. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit and let's do some green. This is Harlequin. I've been playing with these a lot to really see what we can do with them. So I was very excited when you guys were asking for, you know, the jelly plate and a couple other things, uh, polymer clay, a couple other things we're going to be playing with. So very exciting. We'll use some yellow jacket. I think that's all I'll use right now. And I'm just going to roll it out just your brayer. Um, I want the colors to, to mix. You don't want them too much. I kind of want them to look tie dyed so you can see they're not I don't want them to blend necessarily together. Now, I always tell you guys, have a piece of paper next to you or your art journal so you can roll off and, um, you know, get that extra paint saved and you're doing it in your art journal and you're getting backgrounds. So now I'm going to stamp a little bit, maybe use a stencil, who knows, just going to use a stamp, a couple stamps. Again, now you have paint on this. Take your paper, kind of out of room here. I got myself locked in, but I'll show you. And then look how cool that looks. It's like all different colors. So, you know, fun, fun, fun. And then what I will do is I will use one of these stamps, which is for the fabric creations. These work great on here. And the same thing, you know, dot it off so you get. What I think I'm going to use, I'm just going to put some punchinella down. And I think that's it for this one. I'm going to take a piece of, I like cardstock. You can use printer paper. You can use whatever you have. And I'm just going to lay it down. Let's see what happens. Give it a push. Oh. That's where I stamped off. I love the color though. And I'll just give it one last push. And then, oh yeah, <laughs> look, look how beautiful that is. Now that's going to dry permanent. So now we have a great background for, you know, art journal or mixed media piece. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Let me see if I can turn my, there we go. Maybe turn it down a little bit. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, love it. Okay. So that's number one. I love making these. Now you can see I have this still here. If I lift this up, I have color on here. So I can, of course, take another piece of paper. I can lay this or have it stick to my hand. It doesn't matter. Whatever it wants to do. And kind of give it a push to get that extra paint off. And you see, you get that texture. Or I can just go right in, give it a good push, and pick up the rest that's on there. Get the 
those edges. And then I'll use this to pick up extra, you know, extra parts as we continue. So next colors, um, let's do gold. This color is gold. <laughs> Not too hard on that one. I'm going to do a little bit of gold here. Just kind of. So, so far I'm happy. So far, so good. All right. Again, my, uh, what's this called? Brayer has a little bit of texture on it because I use it for my mixed media and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Now, you know, you don't have to. You can always clean it. I'm just going to lay this down. I'm not going to worry too much about it, but you can always clean it. And like I said, you have your paper here. Just roll it off. And you're just laying layers. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get a piece of paper and let's see what happens here. Let's see if we get any print. This will be like layering. So if we get anything off of here, then we can layer it with another color. And you, like I said, you can use your hands. You don't have to use this, a brayer or anything, or roly poly, like I like to call it. For that much, you can use one of your bottles, you know, and just really press it on there. And look at that. Look how beautiful. That is a great, great background. Oh, okay. And the excitement. Now I'm going to lift this up. And then you see you have that imprint. So maybe I'll just take this and I will lay it down here, see what we get. Good push. And then you get another layer. Can you see all that delicious layer there? Oh, lovely. And then don't forget, we have this, which is where I, I picked up off of there. So I will take another piece and let's see what we can get from here. Now, hmm, I'm going to spray a little bit of water. Let's see what happens. And give it a nice push. lift it up and you get like a little a little bit I'll have to put more color on that but you get the idea okay so much fun so much fun so these definitely uh, work okay so now I'm going to use some of the blue velvet and I'm going to use some of the peony I'm going to give it a shake. I'm going to use, what are you again? Harlequin. And I'm going to use some yellow. We'll use a little bit more of the yellow jacket. I'm going to squirt. I'm going to roll. And you can see the water is making it, you know, because it is a slick surface. But look at that, how cool. to make it like tie-dyed a little bit you know now you can see it's a little bit I'm gonna lay some of that yellow okay oh so exciting okay now do I have another 
let's use stuff that you have around the house. Let me use the other side of the cup. Or smaller. Again, take this, use this on your, you know, whatever you have to pet off on. Let's use, let's use uh, where you at? a little stamp that I made. I'll just do some, it's getting a little thick, a little thick. Take it off on there. And then you can even, I just want to take some of that off. You can even go in with a paintbrush or maybe a pen that doesn't work anymore or an eraser, whatever you have. And you can write, just write backwards. Um, maybe I'll just do like this. Very easy, just so you can see. Now, let's take this piece that we got but didn't print all the way, and let's see what we can get. Lay it down, just give it a little push. Look at those beautiful colors. Oh, uh, yeah. How pretty. Now the L, you know, you can go in there and, and fix that a little bit and just drag it a little bit more before it dries. If it didn't come all the way, not the biggest deal, but look. And that's with it watered down. And you can look at the texture, like the, what, the water. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, 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 okay. So now I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to kind of Put the colors somewhat together. And you can see they're kind of turning brown. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to go back in with these and kind of make big circles. I'm just rolling it around. Not the biggest deal. Okay. Now, I want this to kind of dry for a second. So I'm going to, you do not want to do this long and you do not want to hold it in one place long. I just want to get a little bit of this dry. And then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, just a little squeeze here. This is going to be a little bit more, uh, what word do I want to say? Purposeful, I guess. Just a little bit. Get some of the blue. Then all I'm going to do. Is finger paint with it just a little bit and of course blue and yellow make green so once I get this smeared on here I can kind of mix these and get a different color altogether and I didn't have to use anything else so we have like a green Okay, now we use the pink. This is just fun playing. And you can go and put dots if you want or whatever. You're just playing, figuring it out. What other color? Yellow, pink, da 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 da. Um, let's do gold.
Well, I can do gold here too. Take any extra and you don't have to do a circle. You can do whatever you want. Just so some of it lays down, do more dots. Again, just playing. Okay. Just playing. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water. I'm going to take this, which I've already done. You can see the layers, but I want a little bit more. And I'm just going to lay it down. And that's a great background started. You have so many layers and look how the pink kind of gets that texture. So when it's dry and you can just keep putting more and more layers and oh, delicious, delicious. So very, I just want to show you a few things very quickly to show you that you can definitely use these Martha Stewart watercolor, soft gel watercolors. I'm spraying it. I'm going to take another piece of paper putting it down. I don't care if it kind of moved a little bit because I like that messy. And then look, look how cool it comes out. And we can even make it even a little bit more watery. Water. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take this and kind of just, I'm going to pat it. Let's see what kind of texture we get. If it moves some more of that color around. And I really love this blue color. So I think I'm going to just lay a little bit down. Just a little bit. So you're definitely getting a two fur. You buy these, you can use them as watercolor. You can use them as a, you know, an acrylic. You can use them on your uh, jelly plate. You can water them down very thinly. You can use them thick. I kind of move it around. Okay, no rhyme or reason. We're going to do it on this piece. Look how nice that came out. Awesome. And it's so shiny, the metallic. So yeah, you can definitely do a lot with these. So my next video will be a little bit more of an in-depth with the oxides and the jelly plates. Or maybe both, who knows? Now, you might say, oh, I don't really dig this, dig that. Just take your roller and you can kind of spread it out a little bit more while it's a little damp. But I like it because, like I said, I can do over and over and over. Am I going to pull from here? It still has a little bit left, but it's cleaning it up. La la. And it's about almost clean. So we got that. We got these delicious ones here that we can layer more on. This one, which I'm definitely going to layer some other things on. And then, of course, my favorites. Look how pretty that one is. So, Martha Stewart watercolor. Fantastic, fantastic. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you've bought it yet, bought in any of these and what you guys think about them. Um, if you want to see more videos with them, uh, let me know down below. I will be doing uh, more experiments with the uh, jelly plate, with the distress oxides, uh, some more um, projects coming up with the watercolor, Martha Stewart watercolors, which I happen to love, love, love. 
And yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. Please share me around. I appreciate it greatly. And progress, not perfection. You know the deal. Always be kind to each other. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.